arachibutophobia, buterophobia, arachibutophobia, A-R-A-C-H-I-B-U-T-Y-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. This is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. This is a very real fear. It's a type of specific phobia, which means it's an intense and irrational fear of a specific object or situation. People with arachibutyrophobia may have a whole bunch of different symptoms uh, when they're exposed to just peanut butter itself, including trembling, dizziness, difficulty breathing, feeling faint, nausea. This is some pretty serious stuff. In some cases, people with arachibutyrophobia may avoid situations where they're likely to be exposed, exposed to peanut butter at all, such as eating peanut butter sandwiches or going to, pe- going to parties where peanut butter might be served. They also may have a difficulty sleeping or concentrating if they're thinking about peanut butter. These things... It, Arachibutophobia can be caused by a number of different factors, including a traumatic experience involving peanut butter, such as choking on peanut butter as a kid, or a genetic predisposition to anxiety disorders in general, or a history of abuse or neglect, including history or neglect revolving around incidences of peanut butter. I, I, I gotta say, I've known a few people that have been abused using peanut butter, which sounds really weird, um, but it's not as gross as it sounds. These kids grow up in households where this is the only protein they are provided. Uh, Their parents don't have the time or the energy to spend with the children, so the kids grow up eating a lot of peanut butter. Eventually, they start to develop kind of uh, an avoidance to peanut butter. I've seen it happen. I did not know that that avoidance of peanut butter could turn into an actual phobia. Of course, there's tips for coping with arachibutyrophobia, um, but you can always find those online or you can talk to a therapist about a fear that you have and develop a treatment plan.